So this is my dog in the snow. Finally, yes, we finally got snow. Snickers, come on. <laughs> You're crazy puppy. And uh, <laughs> he's a he's a Jack Poo, Jack Russell Terrier, um, poodle mixed breed. He may not have um, a fur coat, which is why he has that little uh, winter coat on, because he just has hair. And as you may know, since as humans. Hair doesn't, hair isn't necessarily the best thing to keep us warm. Yes, um, it keeps him warmer than it normally would for us. But, you know, it's just hair. It's not actual fur. He doesn't shed anything, which is good. But, unfortunately for him, it means that it would be colder for him during the snow, or during the winter season, when he's out in the snow. But he does love the snow still. He doesn't care how cold he gets. He may shiver, he may get cold, but he does love the snow, as you can see. And he's a very energetic dog, so playing out in the yard, is uh, very good for him. <sighs> and uh, let's see if they can find any tracks. Snickers, can you find any tracks? He's also a tracking dog. Um, so he can find animals and track them down by their scent. So, um, might be something here. There's, there's Snickers, no. There's rabbits on, living under this. So, as you can see, he tracked down the rabbits. But, there's also a skeleton under there. So, um, that is most likely from a uh, uh, a small skunk, or actually no, I don't know what that's from, but it is clearly right there, which is actually very very cool, and that's the brain. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to make the rabbits feel like that this isn't a safe place for them, so we'll, we'll get him away from there. Um, I found that, if, by the way, if you're wondering where I found that skeleton and how I found it, um, it's because one time last, last year when I was, uh, yeah, I think it was like last year or this year, um, this past year, um, or earlier this year, um, I think... It was either, oh, I think we found some tracks, possibly, I don't know, or just just, just dropped snow along the ground, probably from the trees. Um, yeah, but um, I found that by uh, um, by the way, these are berries that uh, foxes like to eat. Um, so, we have a ton of these around our yard. Um, so we get, like, foxes, skunk, rabbits, uh, even coyotes, which is not that common. Um, well, actually, it's getting more common in this area, but, um, last year, actually, there were koi wolves around this area. And we found a couple, or I, I, I was on the bus one time, and there was a koi wolf on the other side of the road, 
waiting for its mate. And the mate was a regular coyote crossing the road. But the other one I could tell was a coy wolf because it was slightly bigger and had a different, like, it had much bulkier fur. Um, so that's how, could, how I could tell it was a koi wolf. Um, koi wolves are mixed breeds, um, from obviously coyotes and wolves. They say that, um, koi wolves, um, or, oh, Snickers, watch out for the, oh crap, get away from there, that's also a bunny bush, a bunny, uh, rabbit's nest, as you can see, it's pretty deep. Um, but they've become more common up here because what's been happening, they've said, is, um, we have no wolves currently in New England, that wild wolves in New England, um, but we do have coyotes and, um, they have found research that um, coyotes uh, or wolves from Canada have migrated, or not migrated, but moved up to New England and started breeding with uh, coyotes. So that's how we've been getting koi wolves around here. Um, and you know, sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Um, sometimes they kill each other, um, because rivalry and stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't believe that koi wolves can actually have koi wolf babies of their own, because they are a mixed breed species of two different species. Um, and they'd have to, um you know, find a different partner. They can't find another koi wolf to have a koi wolf with. It would be probably either... What I'm talking about right now, now is basically genetics and um, probability of it. Um, so, um, they wouldn't have koi wolf babies. They would probably likely have um, wolf, uh, uh, coyote babies even though they're mixed breed of their own. Um, back to the skeleton. I found that skeleton either this past year, or last year, or um, earlier this year. I don't know what it is yet, but it's probably some sort of, like, small mammal. Small, it's got canines, so... It's probably a predator. Might have been a small, like, uh, it's definitely not a, uh, lagomorph because, or it's definitely not a lagomorph or a, um, uh, you know, whatever the, I forget the name of the squirrels and, like, chipmunks. Um, but, um, yeah, but it's not that, because it doesn't have the uh, two front teeth that are, like, um, kind of like, uh, um, um, beavers. Uh, so, they're not, that's not a, might have been a skunk. Most likely it was a skunk, because I think, I believe that skunks have canines. Um, so, oh, I think he might have found something. Um, yeah, he's probably tracking something right now, or he just smells my boots, but I'd say, yeah, that's your poop, Snickers, don't, don't go into that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I found that skeleton, um, when either it was this past, but like, last year or, um, earlier this year when I was egg hunting um, on Easter, so, I was, like, uh, looking for eggs, I look under the shed, and I'm like, hey, daddy, there's a skeleton under here, uh, and, um, that's how I discovered, 
um, that thing. Still don't know what it is. Probably a skunk. Um, something dragged it under there. Probably a fox. Um, but the fox probably does not live there anymore because if it did, we would not have rabbits living under there. Um, so that was probably from like two years ago. Um, I think he's, I think he smells something. Possibly. I know over there in that big pile of sticks and stuff, that's, uh, where some more rabbits live. Um, I've done a lot of research on this stuff and I'm currently learning about, like, genetics and stuff on biology. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, contact me in the comments, or Discord, whatever, I have social media, um, I'm very knowledgeable about wolves, of course, um, and, uh, yeah, this is a new documentary series where I talk about, like, different stuff I find in my yard, tracking, um, and I hope you guys like this, because I actually enjoyed this, this is not scripted, um, this is all coming off, right off of my mind, and my knowledge that I know, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video of my dog running around in the snow, and also those interesting facts, um, alright, hope to see you guys later, and have a good day. Bye!